Today is my 531st day of celibacy. That is a long time to go without uh, any sex. Trust me, I know <laughs> that's a long time to go without any sex, but 531 days of celibacy and I'll tell you I'll tell you what it what it gives what it gives you. 531 days, it gives you a stronger belief in yourself. It gives you a stronger brain, gives you a stronger mind. You're not going to have days, you're not going to have the same type of, of stress that you would. You're going to be able to blaze through things that you normally wouldn't blaze through. I tell you. The other day, I, I got very, very tempted into just saying, I, I just, I just want to do it. I just, I just want to, I just want to jerk off. And I, I started thinking, I started thinking, man, you know, I'm like, you, you'll be able to listen. You'll be able, like with my knee injury, the only way that I've gotten through this knee injury is because I've been able to be celibate. It's, I, I, pr I promise you. You don't understand like what I've been through mentally. It's it's just like. It's it's an extreme thing to go through. Anyway, the other day I, w I was thinking about. I was thinking about breaking it, and I and then and and in my head I started thinking. Okay, wait a wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you do that for you know five minutes of pleasure. Think about think about the other times that that I've done it. Where I look back and I say, man, I, I regret, I regret doing that. Because it can literally take me at least two weeks to start feeling like, like getting myself back to how I used to feel. Where, don't get me wrong, I mean, it won't, it won't kill me. It wouldn't kill me. But I would just, I would just, I would be just be in a miserable mood for a while. Like, I would just be like. I, I would literally be like, man, why, why did you do that to me? Like now I'm, now I'm really, really grumpy. Like now I'm really, really grumpy. And the thing is, is I, I just started thinking, I'm like, yeah, don't, don't do that. And I just, uh, I stopped, you know, I stopped, uh, thinking about that. I stopped messing around with myself to be completely honest with you. But, uh. Yeah, it just it just gives you a lot stronger control over your mind when you do, when you don't jerk off. And I'll tell you another advantage uh, that it that that it gives you your drive and determination to get through things is so much stronger when you are harnessing your sex drive. It's all about guys. Listen, sex energy, testosterone drive think about it it's energy that is in the body it the energy can make a baby so it's like you ever notice how like after you jerk off you just your motivation is just shot of course it's shot you just drained you just drained your life force so bring it over here so when you uh, another another advantage another of advantage of it is that now with my knee injury, it does make it harder for me to like try to, to try to line up dates with girls. But I have been on I've been on two dates and I'm trying to like line up more dates this winter. Winter's almost over. But still the power of celibacy to find real women attractive is is, is, ama is amazing. And you can, I mean, you can discover a part of yourself. You can, you can discover strength that you never believed that you ever had. I mean, I've accomplished a lot. I've accomplished a lot this winter. I mean, no, my number one thing is actually making it through the winter uh, with my knee injury. That's probably the greatest thing. But I've, I've cleared out both my closets. I've, now I, I realize, listen, I realized to somebody 
who has two good legs, I realize that kind of doesn't sound like a huge thing. But for me, it, it it's hard because I can only have visitors for like 15 minutes at a time. Anyway, you can check out my other videos for all that stuff. I've put in a drum set into my apartment. I've put in a bunch of deer heads into my apartment. That's, that's not a creepy weird. I put in a bunch of deer heads. But but I did. Uh, I've called I've called women on the phone, like right off the bat. Like I called this one girl Vidalia. Fajita. It doesn't matter. I called this girl. Like we matched on Hinge. We never exchanged a message, and I'm just like. I'm just gonna call this girl up. You know you know sometimes like when you have anxiety calling a girl on the phone. the ability to control your mind and, and and be able to just say you ever you ever you ever notice too that like once she picks up the phone and you start talking to her like most of most of the anxiety is, is gone at that point well that's that's the way it is like with, with this celibacy you can literally you can literally drop your anxiety and it really it really helps you to control that inner strength that you have and uh so yeah so i called her up out of the blue and she's like you must be crazy to just call me up out of the blue like this and i said well you know you must you must like crazy guys then she just kind of giggled and said yeah yeah it, it's it's a good move on your part i i know it's a good move on my part it's ballsy listen how many guys are just gonna call up a girl? All all the guys nowadays are texting like little bitches, little little bitches, man. I, to be honest, I used to do the same exact thing. So, I really did. I listen. I, I made a promise on my channel that I literally, I always have to be completely honest. I'm not trying to portray this this guy that I know everything about dating. Cause trust me, I I I don't. I don't. I'll give you the. I'll give. I'll give you the worst advice that I've ever used and blown it with some really cute girls. I mean, that's what that's what my my channel is all about is you know, I I, I share with you what not to do. That's what that's what my site is all about. Don't don't do this. Ringler said, "Don't do this shit." I have I I you know, I blew it with Christy. Christy was amazing. Christy was amazing. Amazingly cute. I don't know about her personality though. All right. Any anyway, guys, listen. Try celibacy. Try it. Try it for three days. If you can't do it for three days, you're you're in some serious addiction shit. You know, if you can't if you can't keep your hand off of your rod for three days, you're you're in you're you have some coping mechanism going on there. I I guarantee you. And the best coping mechanism is through God. God is the most amazing coping mechanism you can have so all right i'm out